Let's go to Tottenham Hotspur, Rob, because consistency is always a big thing with Tottenham. Never quite sure what you're going to get. Beat Manchester City. Lost to Crystal Palace last weekend in the Premier League. Go and beat Manchester City. Maybe not the full strength City in the League Cup. Get themselves through to the quarterfinal of the League Cup. Uh, and then they faced an Aston Villa team that always difficult to play against, really well set mm-hmm. up. Former Arsenal manager Unai Emery. It was his birthday today, I don't know if you know, 53rd no, birthday, know. so uh. not the birthday present he would have liked. Uh, and Aston Villa have the shape, have the structure, get themselves 1-0 up, and you're thinking, this is going to mm. be a difficult day for Spurs, and not how mm. it turned out, Rob. And um, uh. I also have to... Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get your, your, your view on, on the game. And then, and then I, I want to go back to the, the substitution of Hyung Min's son and, and how that may yeah. or may not have mm. played into the way the game played out. Yeah, I mean, first off, mate, w- w- listen, we, we watch thousands of games yeah. and there isn't very often where I see a game and it's like, wow, like to, to, to see such a change, yeah. I, it's hard to explain. Mm. It's hard to explain. The way that the Aston Villa in that first 45 minutes were, were absolutely as comfortable as you yeah. can expect to be away from home with a team that are expansive, that throw everybody forward. Villa were as solid as a rock, yeah. like, like solid as a rock. Looked like a million dollars when they mm. counter-attacked. Looked like Rogers was getting turned. Yeah. And I was like, you know, so the notes were so positive for Villa at halftime yeah. and so disappointing for Spurs, like weak. Like tons of possession, no penetration, nothing. Couldn't dent Villa. Villa were, in, were, were, were unflipping penetrable. Yeah. And then you get a turnaround that we saw in the second half. I mean, it's hard to explain it. Yeah. And four, I mean, and, and the four goals, I, I mean, some of the football that Spurs played, the penetration was there. The, uh, you know, but, but other than that, I, you know, I can't, it's just one of those yeah. that I think, yeah. wow, who saw that coming? <laughs> Who yeah. saw that coming with such a change? And, um, and you know, with all the notes I've got on Villa, are, are really good yeah. until they get second yeah. half and it's got fell away. Couldn't, and they couldn't handle, they tried to, I think they got a little casual rob. They tried to keep, kept trying to play through play Spurs. Maybe yeah, Spurs a had a little bit more energy, a yeah. bit more pressy, a bit more mm. pressy from the defenders to win the ball back. And I go back to the same thing when there's transitions. Then you win the ball. That's when you yeah. score goals. That was the case today for um, for Spurs. I did like Solanke's first. Was it his first goal? Rob, first goal he, when he yeah he gets played through and then love what a love it. Well, Kulusevski's ball. Yeah. Kulusevski's ball. Time in the is ball. A beautiful, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Well, the finish, the finish takes ball. a lot, Rob, because you almost yeah classy, you take a breath. Man, you have goal. a moment. You 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 wait yeah. for the goalkeeper to make his move. You know, for someone who hasn't been in great goal scoring form, I thought it was a beautiful finish. Yeah, it was it was a it's a beautiful finish. Um, and just a, just a, just just what he needed, Postacoglu, and it, and it is that is still going to be the story with with Spurs about consistency. Mm. I mean, all that being said, right after the game, Rob. Of course, we're doing this on Sunday night, and you yeah. have a certain amount of time to. When I look back at the first half and t- at Tottenham, yeah, they they didn't penetrate too much, no. and they were a little weak in their possession, but they didn't. Did they look like they were consistent? Cons- it's not as though they got opened up a ton of times. No, you know, no. the goal is a, is a Vicario, it's a set piece that didn't deal yeah. with it well. And I thought your and Tim's analysis at halftime was really good about a goalkeeper trying to deal with that difficult situation. Other than that, Rob, it's not as though they got ripped apart no. on them. It's Ollie just, Watkins went through, should have probably done better when he screwed one past the post. And I think Rodgers had a little breakaway yeah. when he didn't get a great. But yeah, yeah not great. Not, not, not a ton. Huge, no. But I thought yeah. that was the game plan from Villa. Sit, sit. Yeah. Tight, have a structure. We'll break on them. You know, if we get a goal, which comes from the set piece, and and then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll go into the second half. Spurs will have to open up, and I think Villa thought then that might be the time for them to counter attack. Yeah. Not certainly not how it started. Second half, the, the just a different intensity. Moved the ball quicker. Ran yeah. f- forward with with real intention. And and I want to go to the Youngman son, Rob, only because yeah. we, we're sitting in, in in studio and. Um, 55 minutes on the clock, he, he's made, played a beautiful ball for Brennan Johnson to get the, the yeah. equaliser at, at 1-1. And yeah. 55 minutes on the clock, I would assume that he's so important to the club. Manager yeah. spoke to the medical staff and said, how long have I got in Sonny? They probably said, yeah, yeah. 50, yeah. give him 10 minutes second off and then we need to get him off. We need to protect him a little yeah. bit. He's missed yeah. six of the yeah. last seven games. Yeah, That didn't seem to be the case based on Sonny asking me, I'm coming off, why? I know. I know. For him having a bit of a tantrum, which he's not normally that kind of guy. And it's yeah. funny, Rob, because as we sat there and, and, and I said, wow, you know, some, some was really getting them going, was flying in, giving uh, yeah. cash all kind of problems. And I'm thinking, yeah. oh, it's a big call by hands, this one. Yeah. And it's funny, Rob, isn't it, that, you know, 
Ten Hag had calls last week. You've talked about Slot having calls and, and managers, you know, Arteta having these calls and not working. And if if Spurs had lost that game today, yeah, with Jungminson off the pitch, with the reaction that he had, Ange's up against it. By the way, the media yeah. are, 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 are circling for him. Yeah, it yeah. goes the other way. They get, Solanke gets a couple of goals. Madison comes on, scores a beautiful free kick. It's a 4-1 win, one of the best wins of the season. Great, yeah. you know, back-to-back -back after beating City, and it's all fine. The life of a manager, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think also, by the way, if, if they lost this game, I yeah. mean, Richarlison, who was his replacement, yeah, sadly, injury, sadly yeah. for him, looks, mm. like a, looks like a hamstring, we don't think, know, yeah, yeah. But, but went off, but went off, mm. um, went off injured. So... I think I think when you I did go I look back Rob at the minutes that Suns played and yeah. that 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 was must have been why it was I think mm. you know well, wouldn't he have known that Rob wouldn't uh, in that situation every time I, I you know if that was me or in the dressing room mm. usually you the mm. manager would have said mm. to the player listen 55 yeah, yeah, 60 probably. minutes and then you, you got to come off it didn't seem as though Sun either thought that or knew that or whether he felt he was better and he, and didn't need to but I do like with Ange that when he makes a decision, he makes a decision, yeah, he goes with he's, it and he's he backs strong. it. Yeah. He's strong, Rob. And that might have been what they said. And by mm. the way, there might be some data that they have. The players have these... Um, yeah, the GPS. GPS. Yeah. So maybe they, they track his, his, his yeah, runs, on the his family sprints. Something. And maybe mm. something's flashing up like he's done he's done a certain amount of work, really. Yeah. So you have to admire that. But at mm. the time, I was watching him like, what? Why? Because he was... <laughs> yeah. he, you know, he made a brilliant ball in. Yeah. He looked... Uh, it's like, wow, what, what? But that must be what it is. And he hasn't played a ton of minutes and no. he's had a thigh injury. You, you have got to be careful, particularly, the, you know, in these times, really. There's so many injuries, so many games, yeah. so many different competitions. You know, when I when I sort of sit back and thought thought about it after the game, I thought, well, yeah. You know, it, it, mm. and, and maybe I, I said that, Rob, because they win the game and it yeah, all seems yeah. okay. If the if there would have been a loss, you're right, there would have been a lot more questions, but it mm. must have been to protect the player, yeah. even though he feels good. It's... The, I, I get it. I get it. And it worked out. It worked out for him. But that's what you want from Spurs. That's what you want. Yeah. Penetration, classy football. I mean, the first thing for them, what they want to do is control the ball, control the game of possession, which they did, yeah. and just pro provide a little bit of quality in the final third, which they did in the first half, but they did in the second half. Mm. Um, wow. What? What? I mean, you know, you, you talk about Villa, and and now I think Spurs, what are they? Two, two points, points behind. Two that's points difference. Two Could points. have been eight points if, if, if Villa sure. had won. Two points different. Back in the thing. Back in the race. For, yeah. You know. I would say fourth spot in, in, yeah. in the Champions League. We've got four or five clubs, probably including United, with a new manager. will still be feeling yeah. that, that they might get that spot. Yes. So, um, yeah, yeah, that's the Premier League for you, mate. Premier League yeah. football, you just never know. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host of NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And if you want even more Premier League content from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock.